How's it going everybody? Just before the video starts, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And here you have all the timestamps of all the things happening in the video. How's it going everybody? I welcome you to watch me on this vlog as I go to Amsterdam to see Travis Scott. And I will go to Cologne as well. And just kind of explore Amsterdam and see, see some of the Netherlands here. So I'm starting off here in Tarnal from Poland. I'm about to catch my train. Just woke up like half an hour ago. Um, I'm very excited. So yeah. It's my first solo travel, so the first time I'm going to a different country by myself. Very exciting, I've just turned 18. So yeah, we'll see how it is. See you guys there. Uh, so we just landed in uh, Germany, on Berlin. I am about to uh, get my passport checked. And then we're gonna make our way to a connection flight, which is in a... It's in two hours, so we, we barely have time. But we'll make it, we'll make it. I've just uh, landed in Amsterdam. Um, I'm gonna make my way to the main city now. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna check in at the hotel. Then we're gonna check out the tunnel, see, see what's up. And I'm here at the uh, railway station in Schiphol. I've bought my ticket here to um, Amsterdam Central. I paid uh, six euro for it. I bought it uh, using one of the machines and now I'm gonna make my way to the train. I actually have no clue where the train is to be honest. Alright, so the train should be here in about 10 minutes. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and wait until it arrives. Alright, so um, I got a train to uh, Amsterdam South and uh, now I'm making my way to a mobile phone shop if needed by a phone case for my phone. And then I'm uh, checking in my hotel. Here we got a canal, which we'll see plenty of these in, uh, in Amsterdam. As I'm walking past a little canal here on my way to the phone shop, we've got four minutes left. And uh, it's just a very nice place. I got some pictures done by like a nice little house that had some flowers. And yeah, I'm just looking at these holiday homes that are on the water. You can probably, some of these you can probably rent out as you know, hostels, hotels, apartments, or whatever you want to call them. But uh, yeah, so far, just a very chilled out atmosphere. Yeah, we're gonna continue on going and walking through the town here. All right, so we just copped the cover for our phone, paid 20 euros. All right, so I just checked in my hotel here in Amsterdam and uh, I didn't film the inside because. I am sleeping in a dorm hotel, so there is like, uh, I think, six, no, seven other, seven other people sleeping in the same room. Obviously, there was only one guy there, but I'm not going to film the room, it's just a couple of beds, one beds and then a private bathroom. So yeah, I checked in, 24, uh, quarter past four, I'm going to go get a kebab, I'm very, very hungry. So I'm gonna go get a kebab and then we're just gonna start walking around and exploring the city, see what uh, Amsterdam has to offer us. So yeah, let's go. So we're here in front of the Rijks Museum. Here we have some gardens. We're just gonna see what type of stuff do we have here in the garden. All right, so we were just in little. I caught this big multivitamin juice for two euro. And now I'm on my way to get the kebab. Oh, crazy, crazy. I see when I order it and I'll tell you how much I paid. Mm -hmm. So we caught this here for 50 cents, along with some garlic. It's very small and I wouldn't buy it again. Yeah, so, bro just crashed this car. Crashed into this car. Um, we crashed the bike, at least. Thankfully, the guy seems to be all grand. And the car didn't seem to get damaged either, and the car owners didn't, uh, I mean, they did care a bit, but like, they didn't really go off their head, which is good, for sure. But uh, yeah, now we're making our way over to uh, a region of Amsterdam, which is called the Jordan. It's filled with many streets and these canals that are very, uh, they just are very aesthetic looking. We have the typical Netherlands houses and the canals with the boats that just uh, 
swim through and sail through these these canals daily. So we've got to the to the Jordan area, and here we have some of the unguarded uh, canals. Now I remember I've seen different funny memes and clips. Oh, you know, funny to us because it doesn't affect us, but to the people involved, it definitely isn't funny. But uh, people just driving into, you know, people guy drove into a car, ended up pushing like three or four cars in at once. And I have a coffee face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only because now <laughs> we are gonna go around and we're just gonna try and find a good location and take some pictures. There's a lot of, I mean, a lot of people in this area. This is quite a busy area. And I just still can't get over how good looking the, the women here are compared to compared to Ireland. It's just it's just quite crazy to me. How how much better it is than Ireland, like no offense to Irish people or or the country. I really fuck with Ireland. I, I love living there like but it comes to women. Yeah. Pack it up, pack it up, pack it up. Bring it to the Netherlands right now, bro. I don't know, I mean, maybe it's only Amsterdam because it's a big city, but even when I'm in Dublin, I don't be seeing baddies like Amsterdam ghetto. But you do kind of agree. Trash here. English, English. Yes, yes. So we got some, uh, got some fans here. I have kind of find, found Amsterdam is missing compared to uh, other countries and uh, other cities. It's kind of architecture, like the architecture here is it's quite vague. It isn't. It isn't really. Uh, it isn't really anything crazy. It's just pretty much the same type of house pasted around every corner. To be fair, and it does does look good for sure, but. But um, compared to Madrid, compared to Barcelona, the architecture is way worse. And compared to even London, you could say Paris as well. Hey, <laughs> did you see that? that <laughs> there's what I, but there's what I um, what I'm talking about. These people really love love the camera. Do funny shit too. That's like, what am I hearing? What am I hearing? Am I hearing that like us? Oh, hey yo, no way. What are they playing, bro? They're playing. Am I hearing Kendrick? Am I hearing Kendrick? All right, so uh, we're here at some big. Uh, what? I'm gonna tell you how it's called now. There's some little, little festival going on. They didn't let me in. I got my ass in there and then they kicked me out real quick. Uh, I don't even know what it is to be honest. But, fuck it, we're here. It is called the uh, National Monument where I am right now. It's called the Dam. But some little Kendrick Lamar. They're playing Kendrick Lamar now like us and then they kicked me out real quick so. I dipped. I dipped nicely. So I just booked uh, my cruise. Uh, Blue Boats Company. That's for 25 euro. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna walk back now over there. Get some fries on the way and then we're gonna get, get on the cruise. See you guys there. We cop these fries for 6 euro 50 cents. Let's see if they're any good. Everyone says they're very good about the Fabo fries. So we finished off the fries. And the fries were... They're quite good, you know. They're, actually, I enjoyed them. Now, they were quite dry after you ate, like... The first, the first, you know... Two-fifths. The first half. Whenever you ate the first half. Then they got quite dry, because there wasn't any sauce already anything under them was just like fries but nonetheless i did enjoy them and for 650 
you just have to go ahead and try and there's just no other way about it. Alright, we're making our way now here to um, the cruise that I ordered. It's called the Blue Company Cruises here on Amsterdam Canal. It's the night cruise, which uh, is a total of 90 minutes. Quite long, yes. But, it is what it is. Um, I'll see you guys there. I'm just gonna wander the streets for a couple hours and then I'm gonna make my way to the hotel, get some sleep because I'm very tired. Tomorrow's a big day. We got Amsterdam for a bit and then Travis got in the evening, so don't, don't wanna be uh, dead tired for tomorrow. So, alright, so I am on my way currently here to, um, to a little supermarket and I am going to uh I am going to to um I am going to go and purchase some food. Nightlife is crazy out here. And I'm gonna go this way. Even though it's gonna add me some 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 road but uh yeah I'm gonna go this way here. Nightlife is crazy. for a bit see what's up here we see people waving to the camera see people doing that there I don't know what the fuck that was <laughs> Different, different uh, clubs, with different girls coming in. The girls are actually very good looking. Hey boys, how are you guys doing? Okay, I'm from the Escape. Uh, I'm selling a paper. So yeah. Really nice, really nice place here, honestly. Plenty of clubs, people just enjoying their time. And, uh, yeah. I'm still on my way to the shop. I don't even know where the fuck the shop is. That's, that's a good question. I'm actually going the total opposite way of the, of the, of the shop. But with an atmosphere like this, you just can't, just can't walk, walk away from it. The amount of people is still very crazy. The amount of attractive people here in Amsterdam is, is just insane to me. It's actually crazy. It's even more crazy than, than the stuff that, go, that does go on here in Amsterdam. But it is, it is kind of, I mean, you could say Amsterdam is a, is a party city. Hi, what's good, what's good? It is a party city. You can, you can, uh, you can say that, so I'm not surprised that there's this much going on here. It currently is uh, midnight here. I need to get my ass home. I'm probably gonna be 
By the time I get to bed, it's probably gonna be 11. So it, it won't be, it won't be a long, long time in bed. All right, so yeah. So I'm gonna continue on just walking around these bars, these clubs, recording people, recording the, see what what's going on here in the in the in the in the city, what is happening. Nightlife here is probably the best I've seen out of all the places that I've been. And I've been to a good couple of cities at this point. Paris, London, Barcelona, Madrid, you know. And it is, it is uh, quite the contender I'm, I'm here for, for nightlife. For sure, for sure. I'll walk over here. See what's up. And uh, yeah, it's actually it's actually quite a quite a place with a lot of people in here and. Uh, there's a lot of people that are just going out. They're just going out to party here. Uh, being a solo traveler that I am today for this trip, it uh, doesn't really feel weird here. I don't really feel. Huh? You're flocking. Yeah, yeah. Poland, Poland. Yeah. So uh, there we go. Back. We have a 25 minute walk to the crib. And uh, yeah, 25 minute. Actually, 25 minutes to, uh, to, the, to the supermarket and it'll probably be, probably be another 10, another 10 minutes. Are you from here? No, why? Because I want to learn Dutch. I'm from uh, Ireland, Ireland. Ireland, my Irish accent is so Where are you from, England? I'm actually yeah. from Spain. Hi there. Hello, my blog. name is Lina. Hi, me too. And Hi, Irish. We are from Spain. Where are you from? Yeah, from from Irish. Poland, from Poland, Irish. Poland. Oh! Oh, can you see? Can you sing Como era el Irish song? Have you watched Dairy Girls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you know how to imitate the Irish accent? Do you know where, where they go? Hi there. Um, you're a Dairy Girl, no, James? Yeah, yeah. I live, yeah, yeah. I live, I live in Dairy Like. Really? Pura. Yeah. That's so cool. That's so cool. I was in Spain as well. I'm perfecting my, you live in my Spain, Irish accent. I was in Spain. I was in Spain. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, Madrid. Madrid. We're from Madrid. It's that Madrid is the best in Spain. Yes. We love Madrid. We love Madrid, Are you and post we love it? Ireland. Yes, I And YouTube. Can we follow you on YouTube? If you want to. So we can see the video. Because we're going to be in it. You have to edit it, right there. No? Huh? You have to edit it. Right there, my Irish people. <laughs> Is my accent good or not? Or not? Good enough, good enough. Good enough, yeah. Good enough to be from Madrid. Yeah. Subscribe. We're gonna subscribe to you, my friend. Bye bye. Bye. Right. You can uh, run into here. Who is, who is active here? On a Saturday night in Amsterdam, and there is. There's a lot of people out here. We can see, we can see who is who's out here on a Saturday, Saturday night. It's time to lock in here with this shit. Hey, it's not, ain't no, ain't no more bullshit. We, we're taking over 2024 Thai shit. We, uh, we're recording these vlogs. We editing these shits. Are we making it out the hood Thai shit? You get me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's actually. It's it has to happen. But yeah, that's it is interesting. So a lot of I do see a lot of Spanish people here. That's probably why there's so much fine fine women is because there is a lot of Spanish Spanish women here. We see a lot of trash on the ground as well in places. Yeah. Alright, the question is where now though? Where now? Where now?
just gonna go wherever wherever the thing kind of leads me to we're gonna cross here for now all right well i kind of decided where we're going now and we're gonna go to these other clubs as well and see what is happening around the place here in amsterdam so yeah um no i've actually so yo i love amsterdam amsterdam's my city yo amsterdam is my favorite city actually like low-key low-key my favorite city you know it actually is just being here is i was chatting so much shit about this place i was like there's jack shit to do in here just be boring but like i'm having so much fun and i'm having the time of my life here just walking through the streets just it feels so safe i don't feel i don't feel nothing like no not i'm not i don't i'm not scared of mine and i'm just feeling you know calm i'm feeling feeling calm like so now we're on our way now we're on our way we're back on track here now we're back on track on the other side of the road i have to probably cross very very soon hey listen yeah i'm bad for bookies why because ain't no fucking rookie <laughs> i think the natural height has just got into me there oh shit Yes, yes. YouTube on YouTube. Vlog, vlog. No, vlog, vlog. Yes, yes. I show you. Type it in for me, bro. Yato, bro. Bro, you can't spare me, bro. They can't feel him. Pull on me, I feel him. No, I'm over. Maybe two weeks, video up after okay. I edit two weeks. Okay. You say hi. Abonneer, yeah. You say hi. No, Amsterdam. Yes, no. yes. Wow. See you, brother. See you. Alright, we got another guy subscribing. So many people here out in Amsterdam. We got everyone, everyone enjoying their time. Everyone's enjoying their time out here in Amsterdam, and it's a, uh, it's pretty uh, a great place out here. Uh, yeah. There's bear, bear clubs around the place, and just bear people. See how people are like after Where? after a night out. Some people are like, no, not me, I'm chilling here for now, like, where are you from, Scotland? I'm from Australia. Really? You possibly think this sounds Scottish? I actually did for a Yeah, okay, I've got Scottish accent on. Alright, we'll see you there. We got lots of people here, just walking through. Hello, I like your glasses. Thank you, thank you. No. Where are you from? Poland. 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 Oh, you're go you're like recording a video or something? Yes, yes. You can uh, say hi. Hi, video. You're. Are you going to post this? Yes, you too. You too. Okay. Hi, followers. I'm Cristina. You're from Espa España. I'm from España. Soy de Barcelona. Viva España, joder. I was in Barcelona last year. Yes. Yes, I'm Madrid. Yes. Both. Well, very. Very well, nice. I'm from Barcelona. Yeah, I spent the five days in Barcelona. Very nice place. Mm -hmm. well. are, you are you going out tonight? Yeah. Yes, we're going to skate. That's very good, very good. I'm trying to win. Amsterdam, Amsterdam, okay. yes sir. Uh, 
del Shana. Sorry, bro. Del Shana. Uh, del Shana. Win the Euro Cup. That guy walked into me, but. I ain't do no wrestling. You get me, like. I ain't doing. I ain't doing all that, like. <laughs> yes sir bro, yes sir, it was good bro, it was good, it was good. Hey. Yes sir. Vlog as well. Alright, see you Alright, so I'm on my way now to Dan Frank's museum. Um I just got up. Quite tired to be fair. Uh, not too bad, I've got a couple hours of sleep, but I don't really like doing moves too fair. It's like you're walking around and trying, and trying not to wake everybody up and shit. Fuck that. That's the only dorm room I have and I've ever bought, and I don't think I've ever bought another one. But uh, yeah, so I need to get a luggage storage, put this bag away so they don't let you in the backpacks. And yeah, see you guys later. Bye. I'm in the clo- I just went through the cloakroom and I got a little listening device and now we're going to scan a ticket and make our way through That's a wrap. Um, that's the Ampire Museum. I wasn't able to record at all. I'm going to drop off my audio, audio guy here now. And uh, I'm going to grab my bags. Or my bag. And then I'm going to. So I just dropped off my bag there at the bound storage location. Yes, I just ordered a pancake. We had to wait like 40 minutes for it, which is way too long. But, um,. Smells very nice. Bacon, cheese, and mushrooms. I think it's gonna be something like 20 euros, so. Yeah, I'm so hungry, so I'm just gonna eat this real quick. My train's in four hours, so we got a couple more hours to walk around and so we'll see what's, what's happening. So, I fed through about half of it. It's so good. I got uh, mushrooms, cheese, and uh, bacon. And honesty, it's busting. It is Boston. I've ate half of it nearly. I'm very hungry and I'm gonna definitely finish it. It's, it's great. Definitely recommend it. Worth the wait for sure. Yeah, we mauled. <laughs> we just feasted. I'm about to go pay. I'm very full. 10 out of 10 meal, not even gonna lie. Very good. Okay, so I just paid for the pancakes. And the pancakes cost me. 16 euro um, Which is quite quite a good price to be fair um, I Got filled like I'm not even I don't need no more anything probably Until I get to Arnhem I could probably survive I might go cop the waffles that everyone talks about though Before I do leave But um We'll see Looks we got someone magnet magnet uh magnet fishing. How's it going? It's just uh magnet fishing here, yeah, very nice. Yeah. Is that good for me? Uh we got a first weapon. That's what we want. Very cool. Very cool. That was actually very cool. Magnet fishing. I have to do magnet fishing myself. Um, but I mean, I haven't found anything crazy. People like to do it and see what type of treasures they can find. So someone really caught all this shit. 
actually quite quite crazy to be fair. Yeah. I really really enjoyed Amsterdam. I've, it's my favourite city for sure. Definitely gonna return here in the future because I just uh, but I need to return with friends. Definitely, that's one thing that I've decided. Next time I'm here in Amsterdam, I'm for sure gonna return, but with friends. That's gonna be some great crack for sure. Um, and to clarify, great crack means great fun in, in uh, like Irish people say that. So don't be thinking I'll be doing some crack. <laughs> oh, okay. We see some nice buildings on both sides of the roads. With the typical Amsterdam architecture with these houses. And the thing that I found out yesterday that was quite interesting is you see the little hooks along the houses. They were used by uh, the Amsterdam citizens to lift heavy stuff up instead of having to carry it through the the stairs which is quite cool and I wouldn't have noticed that myself also something I found out is that the houses are very uh, narrow but when you actually properly go inside them they're actually very wide so the reason for that is uh, it is because the tax rate would be cheap is the ta you'd be like back in the 1700s I think there was you'd be taxed on uh, based on how much space your house took up on the canal so the amount of space your house stuck up on the canal uh, changed the amount of tax you'd pay so say your house took up more space on the canal then you would pay more tax in return so what they did is they tried to make the house as, as narrow as possible to um, reduce, reduce reduce their tax and not pay as much money in tax so yeah we've got plenty other cities this summer we got Cologne in Germany tomorrow. We have Prague in Czech Republic, Warsaw, Krakow. We've got Milan, Rome and Naples, Vatican City too. I got Athens, Greece, I got Split Croatia, Medj, Bosnia, there's so much. Well, Slovakia as well, so there's just so much more opportunities to see the world and explore explore and see what's up so that is the Amsterdam dog store nothing too special to be honest just a bunch of dogs that are overpriced as they cost 12 euro per duck <laughs> butchered that name twice but <laughs> but uh we're gonna go inside of here i will uh, see what type of stuff is in here i see some bear bricks gucci balenci crazy crazy See this this type of shit I'd be wearing. The dumb price of these these bitches we got in here. It crazy. Crazy. Yeah, these these trousers here. These go. What the hell, bro? Yeah, these go so hard. I ain't even lying. Track runners. Insane, insane pieces in here, insane pieces. Insane. There's not much in Balenciaga, but like when they sell something 1.4k, then I mean these these brands here are just mainly for show like Oh, 
So these glass off white. bathrooms in Amsterdam so you just go in here you do your business you take a piss and you're finished uh, peeing into the canals is illegal I think the fine is 250 euros if someone's caught doing so so that's not this here's Chinatown here in Amsterdam hello 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 I've arrived to uh, central Amsterdam here and I'm on my way now inside of it and you catch my train which is in train leaves in 10 minutes or so all right so we have just got to Arnhem now I am on my way to the supermarket buy a couple cold bits of food that I'll eat after Travis Scott. I yes, just arrived at the hotel room. It is a very nice hotel room. Got a nice chair. Nice big bed. Just, you know, table, another chair, TV. A lot of outlets around the place. And Alright, so I'm back from Travis. I'm dead tired. And the uh, show was great. But I wouldn't have minded if played, you know, two or three more songs. I really loved it. I copped a t-shirt for 55 euro. Um, it wasn't the one I wanted because the ones I wanted got sold out in every size except 2XL. So, so yeah. But it is a nice little shirt. Travis Scott Live on Tour, Arnhem, the Netherlands, Krakow, Poland, Utopia. So... We caught the kebab on the way, and now we're just gonna fe feast this, take a shower, and then just chill out, go to sleep. W day, W day for sure. Alright, so I'm about to check out in the hotel here. Uh, and this is how it looks, so I'm about to check out in the hotel, and this is how it looks. So we have the, the shower. Nice mirror. We have a nice little bathroom. And then here's the actual room. So you got two red chairs, desk, TV, teas, tea, coffee, all that stuff there. Nice big bed. And nice view outside. So yeah, this cost me like 70 euro. For one night, and I definitely recommend it. So we're here in Dusseldorf, Germany. Um, I'm about to hop on the train here that is going to Luxembourg, but I'm going to just hop out of Cold. So yeah, we're with Cologne. Let's see what's up. I'm not able to vlog much because it's kind of hectic. And I'm just walking through. I don't really want to... Um, what's it called? I want to make sure I get to Cologne before I really start vlogging. But yeah, I'll see you guys there. Alright, so I've arrived here in uh, Cologne. Uh, so this is the Cologne. Uh, Cologne train station central um, I'm about to hop out and uh, put away my bag I'm gonna pay the fiber using bottle slugger storage and put the bag away five euros uh, I'm only here for three hours or even two and a half but I'm not carrying this around fucked up so yeah I'll see you guys there all right so we're here at the, uh, the cathedral we just left we left uh, the main the main station and now I'm on my way to the bounce luggage storage so I'll see you guys there. Uh, so we got 
some random guy coloring flags onto uh, onto the street and then it's a good way because people donate depending on the country they're from it's like a kind of a competition but it takes a lot of time to color in some of the country so fair play to bro and a bit of rain and ash is gone so uh, fair play to bro so we are here in uh right outside the, the, the cathedral cologne cathedral it's huge but um it is uh i spent like an hour getting pictures it's quite hard to get pictures when you're solo traveling that's my only my only kind of ick i'd say because I, I love pictures i love taking good photos i love making good outfits so i need a good photo to enhance the outfit you know what i'm saying but um unfortunately I'm very that's very hard to find so i just tend to place my phone down as well which is quite quite good because you know I can actually get a good photo but with the amount of people that there is here it's so sketch putting your phone down that like as soon as I put it down after like you know it's max 30 seconds you have and you have to then pick it up again and try again Cedro is huge though it's quite insane Some parts, yes, and the you are allowed to film, I think, everything. And the cathedral is free, which is quite crazy. Honestly, most of the time, the cathedrals, you have to pay something to get in. Not this time, though. Inside, it's quite... Quite, um... Quite normal to a normal cathedral. on your phone and then from God himself and and I uh, really really enjoy traveling and you know I'm able to support the sepulcher of the Archbishop of Cologne so why not These are all the cardinals that have popped. Three days after, so it is a very nice this image. I'm gonna use a different candle here to, to light mine. I'm just gonna shirk it in. Hi, can I have one ticket for a tower? One one ticket, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I'm eight, 18, yeah. Right. There's only one uh, one way system or sorry two way system and it's very tight so walking past it is very nice <laughs> so my legs are dying already okay so we got we got the bells Wow. I'm walking up, up to the top. I think we made it. I think we made it. It's cold up here. Yes, we did. Oh, we didn't. Oh, fuck's sake. Alright, we got more stairs to go. 
it's fucking been like fucking at least 200 stairs like it's actually it's actually quite quite tough all right yeah if i had to work up here yeah i need like 50 euro 50 euro every time i have to i have to go up them stairs and that's as a little bonus fuck that that's very nice very nice Right. Right, <laughs> very nice, very nice. We see a wonder wheel over there. If I had more time, I'd probably go into it. Yeah, we got a total of 500 stairs to go down. But why were there people going down the other way? I think this kid can join somewhere in the middle. Which you see the same shit. I don't see you doing shit. I don't want to follow up. Window. Yeah, that means it. Not in the window, but walking nature takes. We've made our way down. And that was. That was a track and a half. And I'm not planning on ever doing that again. But at least we've done it and now we know how it is. So, I'm making my way out of here now. I'm going to the toilet, I don't care if it's 50 cent or if it's 10 euro, I'm going to the toilet, taking the piss. And then, we're going around to the video. But we're we'll getting the curry first. So yeah, see you guys there. Alright, so we're gonna say bye bye to the Cologne Cathedral. I'll probably actually walk around it first and then say bye bye, but uh, yeah. We left a sticker. We left a sticker. And now it's time to go. One, uh, one curry, ver curry verse and pomace. Yeah. 2024 Cologne. It's very cool. Yeah, we've been a feast. Seven euro eighty cents for this. Curry burst. Yes, sir. So, yeah. Two hours, a little over two hours, two hours twenty minutes to get to my flight to the airport. So should be chilling. I'll see you guys there. Right, so I'm on my way to the airport, and while walking past, I stumbled upon a Porsche Centrum here in Dortmund. So why not stop by and take a picture of a few of the cars? I'm not gonna go inside, but who won't stop me walking around like? Okay. Alright, so I'm here in the airport. This is one of the most ghetto airports I've ever seen. My flight's delayed by an hour and I'm gonna go take a piss now. It's actually not, it's not looking good. And just like that, trip comes to an end. 
I have to get back on the plane to Krakow and uh, yeah we got Prague on so or Monday morning so we'll see you guys there Ski Master Slump got incoming type shit Alright and just like that we've landed back in Krakow Our vlog ends here today We're back from our little 3 day trip And uh, yeah I will see you guys soon I am going Prague this weekend Then I have uh, stuff to do here in Krakow Warsaw we got Cloud Festival So I'm gonna vlog those things for sure Then I got Italy for a whole week and Athens, Greece. So make sure to stay tuned for them vlogs. Also, I have a lot of backlog from different countries and cities like Madrid, Barcelona, Paris, London. So I'm gonna make sure to get them edited as well. And I will get them out as soon as I can. So, without further ado, I wanna just say thanks for watching. And I'm gonna see you guys next time. Peace.